Hello, my name is Zilla Duzon Hazel from the beautiful island of St. Martin. I am your local fashion designer of the brand Jolie Duzon. Keep it locked to all access by Audrey Jack. Boys and girls and children of all ages. This is what you have been waiting on. Let's go! All access. All access. All access with Audrey Jack. All access. All access. All access with Audrey Jack. All access. All access. All access with Audrey Jack. All access. All access. All access with Audrey Jack. Hey yo, stop. Freeze. Nobody move. Drop the remote. Keep your eyes on the tools. It's all access. We have the esteemed pleasure of interviewing the fashion local designer who's reaching global heights. How are you doing, beautiful? I'm fine, thank you. My goodness. How long have you been doing this? Ten years now. I launched in um, April 2013, and now we're in 2023. So ten years I'm doing this. And you just had the one of the biggest fashion shows. Tell us about it. Tell us about the destination in Tortola and tell us about how did it go? I mean, we see all the beautiful images on All Access, but talk to us. Yes. So uh, I just came from Tortola from doing the Summer Sizzle BVI fashion show that they have every year. And this was their 13th edition and they had 19 designers. So they, um, on this, for this fashion show, they do regional fashion designers, international fashion designers. So the show really gets a lot of exposure. And seeing that my brand turned uh, 10 years this year, I really wanted to like do something big that could you know, catapult my brand to, you know, another level. Global. Yes, a global level. So that is um, one of the reasons why I decided to take part in the BVI Summer Sizzle Fashion Show this year. Tell us about the prints. You're always big on these beautiful prints. I'm wearing one right now, I'm happy to say. And you're always trying to just, just go to another level with the prints. Tell us about the prints that we saw on the runway. So the print that um, you're wearing and um, another version to it it's the it's called the watermelon star flower print so if you look at the design it's like in the shape of a, a star but like also a flower and then I put the detail of like watermelons um, inside of it so for me all my inspiration um, comes from nature from my environment the lifestyle so we're from the Caribbean we have beautiful flowers plants leaves trees everything colors of our fruits and everything all of that comes into the prints that I um, hand paint and then I digitize them and I have them printed on various fabrics that I make then my bags and my clothing um, with so I remember going to the governor's symposium recently and I saw Miss Clara Reyes had a head of the cultural department wearing one with the watermelon is that also yours correct yes so that one she had some of the watermelon inside as the lining and then on the outside she had the citrus print so um, yes it was more one of my um, prints as well and inspired by oranges and slices of citrus you know it's, a, it's something that we use daily sometimes and I just took it as inspiration and then created a beautiful print out of it so I mean, you can never ask people too much about where do you get your creativity from but uh, you're doing it such a long time I have to ask that cliche question well, I think it's divine, honestly, because sometimes I am just sleeping and then I get like a color combination and or I see a leaf and I'm like, let me draw this leaf and then I add colors to it and then I create a print out of it. So it's divine for me. I have to ask you about the hummingbirds that I see in your ears, for your earrings. Tell us about that. I know there's a story. Yes. So these hummingbirds are actually from a brand called A.S. Styler and uh, she is actually from Trinidad, Tamika, um, Birmingham and uh, she came to St. Martin about two months ago to promote her, um, her jewelry brand and I did not get to meet her but I did go to one of the stores that was selling her um, items and I bought one but when I saw like it's stainless steel and um, it has so many elements of the Caribbean which is what I love she has palm trees and she has birds and she has parrots and I was like I love this brand so I reached out to her and I told her I'm having a fashion show I love your brand um, I want to get some for the models and then she just hooked me up so your, your models 
wore this brand, this jewelry line, during the fashion show? During the fashion show, along with the collection, so. That's very interesting. Tell me about it. how do you get to, from your, your, your fashion design studio, to a runway. How does that work out? How does it work? So, let's see. It's two things. Um, in my journey, I have um, created, in a way, my own path where I don't wait on opportunities, I create them for myself. So first I started doing my, creating my own fashion shows and holding my own fashion shows, but also um, they have people that are doing that as well outside of the country or whatever. And I thought, hey, um, for me doing it on St. Martin, I need more exposure outside as well. So I look to see where in the world or where in the region is having a fashion show. And with these fashion shows, um, you pay a certain price for um, the production of the show and they provide the makeup artists, the hair stylists and the production, the models so you just pay that fixed fee and then you are able to take part so you come with your designs Are you talking to some of our other young people, you know in the classrooms, maybe during workshops, you know, letting them know that they too can be a fashion designer for Sure, for sure I've um, been a speaker at a few schools, um, but but also, when mothers, they bring their daughters to me, they're like, yeah, my daughter want to be a fashion designer. Can you talk to her? Can you explain to her how you started? I tell them my journey. I tell them you can do it. I mean, a lot of people are like, can you make money being a fashion designer? Yes, but you have to push yourself. You cannot just um, expect people are just going to come to you. You have to create that avenue. You have to push. You have to market. You know, you have to reinvent yourself, be innovative. Um, in order to for your brand to survive and I think um, 10 years now doing it I I know what I'm talking about you know when it comes to that so I mean, we only posted some of your images on, on, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn for all access with Audrey Jack Page. And I can tell you it's a it's soaring. I mean I saw within just one day alone it was over a thousand. Now today it's two thousand and I'm like, well, what's the big buzz? I think everybody gravitated to the colors and to see some of the familiar faces on the runway. So you're also taking our local models and bringing them over. Yes, for sure. So when I decided to do this, um, I said I I want to go with a local model to represent St. Martin and um, Kimberly Meyer she has been working with me from the beginning I, like if I have a new um, design and I want to shoot it I would say Kimberly come and she would just come and uh, model the clothes for me you know so I said I really want to um, go along with her and for there to be a representation of our island there. Me as the designer, she as the model, and we go there as a force. And I mean, she, she did great on the runway. There's always more to come. So for the past 10 years, I've basically only been functioning locally for the most part, have my um, clothing designs or my um, clutch bags in different boutiques around the island. And now I feel, um, actually I stopped doing the clothing for a while because it's, it's quite pricey what I'm doing because I'm going and printing my own fabrics to make my design. So um, after the hurricane destroyed my boutique, Hurricane Irma in 2017, I focused so Solely on my clutch bags and um, now it's time that I bring back the clothing so this collection was like a coming back um, you know coming back to what I love you know and um, I plan to just have my clothing in boutiques all over the world now not only um, St. Martin but regionally other islands and also in Holland in the United States wherever I'm just branching out now. Um, how can people get your information, get your designs, get your clutches, get your summer swimwear collection? So they can contact me on 5817400. That's my business number locally. And also um, www.joliedouzon.com. I have a website uh, where they can purchase um, my designs. And for social media, they just type in Jolie Duzon, J-O-L-I-E, D-U-Z-O-N, and then they'll find my page. Thank you so much.
all, my son. Run the leg of this non-stop race. Do it only you can. My son, our son, your candidate on the National Alliance stage for that coming January 24th election. I'm going to victory. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you.